Welcome back. It was only about a month ago when this man, 23-year-old Adam Legrand of Elgin, was murdered at his family's electrical shop on Brazel Road. His family is calling his death senseless. 21-year-old Kenneth Shirley is charged with his death and will remain in jail until the trial. You may remember that officers were able to arrest Shirley after a manhunt. Caroline Hecker spoke with Adam's family today, including his fiance, who was shot herself three times and is recovering from her injuries. Caroline? Well, like you said, Dondi, that shooting happening here at the family's electrical shop. And as you can see, a very stark reminder, this door and garage door of the shop riddled in bullet holes. And tonight, we are hearing from Miranda, Adam's fiance, who survived that shooting, and she's now hailing him her hero. He was my perfect balance between love and strength, and he was my happily ever after. For the short 23 years Adam Legrand was alive, his family says he lived life to the fullest every day. A decorated bull rider, he traveled the country, adding accolades to his trophy case at every stop. Outside of the rodeo, his father says he would do anything for anybody. He just really had a good heart. He, could, he never met a stranger at all. And befriending somebody is what cost him his life. Adam's fiance Miranda says March 21st was like any other day. The two were at his electrical shop cleaning out his truck when 21-year-old Kenneth Shirley asked to hang out. We had a great time. We were all laughing and just having fun. And then um, he left to go to the store. And whenever he came back, it was like a completely different person. She says Shirley was quiet, playing with his phone until he pulled out his gun, holding her and Adam at gunpoint. He moved his gun from Adam and put it right here on my forehead and told me to get back. She says Shirley got in his truck to leave, then suddenly jumped out and started shooting. The two turned to run, trying to take cover behind a car inside the shop. Whenever I turned around and I saw him falling, we made eye contact. And it was like, I felt him. I felt him leave. Miranda was shot three times but survived and is recovering from her injuries. The family says Shirley's bond was set at $100,000, but they aren't satisfied and fear he will be released. Why should he be out on the street knowing that he killed my I mean, there's no ifs and buts about it. Meanwhile, the family is left to wonder, what if? Everything was finally coming together, and it's like all of that was taken from us. Now, Adam's father, Wayne, says he's not sure if justice will ever be served for the death of his son, but he says it can start with Kenneth Shirley staying in jail until that trial. Live in Elgin, Caroline Hecker, WIS News 10. All right, Caroline, thank you. And in addition to Miranda being shot three times, she also suffered a fractured scapula and trauma to her left leg. She says the outside of her leg remains numb, and doctors are not sure if she'll ever regain full feeling.